Hi guys, so this is the LG I'm gonna give out. You can see it's, I still got the wrapper. This is a brand new phone. But before I give it away, um, I actually wanted to test out if it works on non-Verizon phones. So I've got AT&T SIM card in here and I'm gonna go ahead and set the APN. Um, just set it to phone. And this should potentially work and give us 4G LTE. Let's try it. So go to access point names and put your APN manually, right? And you'll get this warning, um, SIM is not from Verizon Wireless. Okay, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit, hold on. So I let it sit and I'm, I'm getting HSPA. All right, today we're gonna go ahead and attempt to convert this dude into a Canadian uh, LG G6. Converted into Canadian LG G6, which will unlock all the bands. We'll also fully unlock the SIM. And I actually did this with the Sprint model and it worked out perfect. So all the LG G6 actually have the same hardware. The only thing different is that they block certain bands like on Verizon G6, um, they block the 4G LTE band, so you can't use it on another network and get 4G LTE. Now, I've done it on my Sprint. Should also work on Verizon. Should actually work on all the LG G6. I've not tried it on other models, so if you do this, there is a slight chance of bricking, and I will not be responsible, all right? I'm just making this video, and I actually don't know if it works on Verizon <laughs> LG G6. I'm pretty sure, because it's the same hardware, I've actually flashed a um, bunch of different firmwares on all the LG G6. So long as you use official version, it's probably not going to break it. All right. But I did break my Sprint LG G6 actually by flashing a customized version of the official firmware. Um, that did not happen from flashing official firmware. Let's go ahead and do this. All right, guys, next go ahead and, oh, wow. So I left it here. 4G LT is actually working fine. All right, but for the sakes of this video, I'm still gonna convert it into Canadian. Um, so yeah, I guess 4G LTE actually does work fine. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, guys, you'll need to install the drivers, LG drivers, and there's a DLL file for LG G6. And once you have done that, you will see COM71 when you start LG up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit select, and this is gonna load up the LG up software. All right, you also obviously need to download the firmware file. So I've got it here, h873 blah blah dot kdz. Um, this is just an Oreo firmware for the Canadian LG G6. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and choose the file. Um, go ahead and choose the bin file. Hit this dot dot dot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and find the kdz file. This is a official firmware. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose partition dl. And I'm gonna hit start. And wish me luck and go ahead and select all if you see partition list, hit OK. And hopefully by end of this, we'll have a fully converted Canadian LG G6 that we'll be giving out. All right, uh, say yes. All right, guys, it is done. Moment of truth. It is booting up. Let it boot up. All right, guys, at this point, if it doesn't boot up, try um, try rebooting. What we're going to do is hold down the volume down and power. And then as soon as it reboots, we're going to hold down the volume down, but let go of the power button and then hold down the power button. So like this. Oops, hold on. Let me do it like this. So I'm holding down the power button. And as soon as it reboots, I'm going to go ahead and let go of the power. Oh, no, no. Keep holding on to it. Let go of the power and then hold on to it. Yeah, if you do it right, you'll get into factory um, data reset. So I'm going to factory reset, hit say yes and say yes. All right. And this will clear up everything and then I uh, should boot after that. And boom shakalaka, baby. By the way, guys, I just got this awesome charger that actually shows you how many volts and how much percentage you got left. Um, it's a 20,000 milliamp Besieder. Um, I'll have a full review on that. But um, yeah, if you guys are interested, I'll put the link in the description. We booted up English Canada. Um, exciting stuff here. Let's go to United States. United States. 
And boom shakalaka. We got 4GLT right off the bat. We didn't have to wait. So even though I did get 4GLT uh, with the AT&T, this will guarantee you fully unlock all of the bands and you should actually get better signals. I'm actually not 100% sure on that, but the reason why I did it because I'm giving this phone away and I wanna make sure all the bands are fully unlocked. And by having the Canadian version, you'll be able to use it anywhere, yeah. But let me go ahead and double check that it also works with Verizon. I'm not sure on that either. It might have locked the Verizon 4G LT bands, or now it's a fully um, hybrid CDMA GSM phone. So as you can see, 4G LT working fine. Let me just go ahead and load up the browser and show you that internet is working just fine. Yo. And boom chakalaka. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a Verizon SIM card that came with it. And will it work on Verizon 4G LT and boom shakalaka? The good thing is that now you won't get the warning and stuff and it's fully unlocked. But this phone is officially now a Canadian firmware. But sorry for all the fingerprints, but this is a brand new phone. Oh, well, it's got a wrap on it, so I'll still make sure to clean it real well before I give this away. Um, definitely subscribe if you guys want to win this. I'll be giving this out soon. And yeah, have a great day. Hit the thumbs up for me. And as always, stay. Yeah. On Android. Click here to subscribe.